Hi there, my name's Andy Hillier, and today's guitar lesson is going to be on The Driver by Monoskin. It's a cool track. I'm going to teach you the whole song apart from the guitar solo. If you want the solo, uh, then just leave me a comment in the comment section and I'll do a separate video on the guitar solo. But this is going to be the rhythm guitar. I'm going to teach you the whole song, but just before I do, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, press the notifications, leave me some comments in the comment section, let me know what songs you want me to do next. Uh, just say hi if you want to say hi, it helps the video hopefully get some more views. Um, and if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me, support the channel, and you want to print the tabs off for this, then I'll put them on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. My guitar is in standard tuning. Now, the intro is the easiest thing in the world, just two bars, it goes like this. So all we've got is an A minor chord and then a D minor chord. So to play an A minor chord, first finger B1, second finger D2, third finger G2, play from the A string downwards. One strum on that and then go to D minor, which is your first finger E1, third finger B3, second finger on G2, and play from the D string downwards. So it literally goes one, two, three, four. Okay, so it's just two bars intro. Then we go on to the next line, which is the verse. And uh, it sounds like this. I'll do the first um, eight bars, so bars three to ten, they go. So for that, it's just A minor, D minor, A minor, D minor, A minor, D minor, and then in bar nine, we've got a C chord, which is your first finger B1, second finger D2, and third finger A3, playing from the A string downwards. And then in the next bar, I've got an E chord. You could play just no a normal E chord if you want, but I've done this version, which is my first finger barring across the bottom three strings at the fourth fret. Second finger on B5, third finger on E the D6. To me that just sounds slightly closer to what I can hear on the track. But you could just play a normal E chord, it's absolutely fine. Okay, so it does those first eight bars up to that E chord, it then repeats back and plays the first seven bars, so bars three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. But instead of playing that E chord on the repeat, it plays this E7. Where we've got my first finger barred on the seventh fret on the bottom three strings. You could actually borrow it up to the A string if you wanted to. Um, and then third finger, D9, little finger on B9. So you get D9, G7, B9, and E7. Like I say, you could borrow up to the A string and play that note if you wanted to as well. Um, so that's the whole of the verse. So hopefully that makes sense. You play the first eight bars and then you play the repeat back, play the first seven bars and then play the last bar. Uh, let's just try that, here we go, one, two, three, four. That takes us to the chorus, which sounds like this. Which is almost the same chords as the verse chord. So it goes A minor, D minor, A minor, D minor, A minor, D minor, then C, and then it goes to E, uh, e minor 7 which is your first finger barred from the A string at the seventh fret. Second finger B8. And third finger on D9. So it's E minor seven. It's kind of strange that it goes to that chord as opposed to the other one. Okay, so um, the whole line, the rhythm goes down, up, up, down, up, up. So down, up, up, down, up, up. On each, and you play it through the whole of that. Um, line, the same rhythm, and it repeats. 
let's just play that line once. Here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Okay, like I say, that line repeats, and then we get this cool little instrumental part that goes this. Okay, so to play that E3, hammer on to E5, then play an E5. And we can do that a lot. So it does it once, then plays A3 twice. So you get. We then do the E3, hammer on to E5, and then play E5, and then another two E5s. So, so the first bar slowly goes. The next bar starts the same with the E3, hammers on to E5. E5, E5, E5. Then E3, hammers onto E5. Play E5, then A3, E5, A3. So bar 21 goes. So the first two bars of that line go. The next bar, almost the same idea. E3, hammers onto E5, 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 E5. It does that twice in the bar. And then another time in the next bar. And it actually, this next bar is the same as bar 21. So, so I hope that makes, should, should make sense. So the whole line slowly goes. Sweet. On to the next line, and it's a similar kind of idea, but we up an octave, we're going D5, hammer on to D7, 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 D7. Okay, and it does that four to uh, three times. Another hammer on, five to seven, D7 then G5, then D7, and then G5. So the first two bars of that line go. And then plays E8 three times, nearest to your face, then E8 nearest to the floor. So it's, it does that twice. Then E7 nearest to your face three times, then E7 nearest to the floor three times. And it does that twice. So the last two bars of that line go. Um, so the whole of that line goes. So that's a little instrumental part. It then goes to the guitar solo. Like I say, if you want me to do a lesson on that, then uh, leave me a comment in the comment section. I'll do a separate video on that. Uh, it then goes to the verse of the song, and then that's the end. Well, I do hope you enjoyed that guitar lesson and found it useful. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, press the notifications, uh, leave me some comments in the comment section, the usual stuff. Um, and if you love what I'm doing, you want to support me, support the channel, and you want to print the tabs off for the whole of this song, then I'll put it on my Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Well, thanks for watching this. I do really appreciate it. I've been Andy Hillier, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.